just feels so much more stable than stock. On the Apex Edition, Bronco. Since I've been a part of Aiken's Ford and Wild Wheelies, it's been a recurring theme, and even long before that, of Chad Edge and his family coming to us and trusting in us for vehicles and customizations. Behind me, we have his wife's beautiful Oxford White Bronco Apex Edition. Let's go. Their 2021 Big Ben Aiken's Ford Bronco in Oxford White has the retro vibe to it with a new school vibe because Ford did a great job of make it the Bronco look and have tribute to the old school, but also the nude school. Plus we've got a retro stripe with a modern top five wheel of all time for us combo going on here. So this one's special to me because it's got even more of a hybrid new school, old school vibe to it. If you get what I'm trying to say y'all. So a two inch four wheel parts uh, lift kit front and rear with a big tire a uh, fender kit, which incorporates still keeping your crash bars, but uh, allowing and accommodating 35s. The two inch spacer kit uh, all the way around is a legit setup for us. Uh, we, we like the ride quality and the clearance it gives us to accommodate 35, 12 and a half, 20 ridge grapplers on the highly popular, probably tired of seeing us run it, but it's hard to get away from this wheel because it's so legit, y'all. You know, I even run up my personal vehicle with a Fuel Rebel 20 by nine, zero offset. So our mild to wild scale puts us right in that mid-level range, which I think this offset of negative one, plus one, or zero is that sweet spot on the Bronco to not be too far pushed in and not too far extreme outward. Uh, still rides good. This vehicle rides better than it did uh, from the factory. Obviously, you can tell the before and after shots on this vehicle are quite significant. And with the retro stripe, it really breaks up a lot of the white that's going on. And let me know what y'all think because they're also thinking about doing white on their mirrors and door handles, etc. So, I mean, I'm really sitting here looking like, does it need it or is it cool the way it sits? I mean, it definitely, it would kind of add to the elegance of doing those body color. So we probably will, <laughs> but uh, a great balance nonetheless. No right or wrong answer on those components. Just a personal preference thing for you guys. But uh, already had the factory board as far as your running board there and out back. Just a good look at the spare tire and wheel mounted up. Uh, mild to wild scale from the rear and that retro stripe from Max Sliders looking so legit with the Bronco script on the side too. On the inside, love this basic black and gray interior. Leather wrapped steering wheel, got heated seats and this Startup is the best in the business. Look at that, y'all. Looking great. Uh, a speedometer calibrator to make sure she's all legit too, but uh, a pretty basic way to elevate your Bronco with our Apex Edition package. And the white just hits a little bit different on the Bronco. I think it just has uh, a great, unique vibe to it that it puts off being in the Oxford white. And a good look at the front. Oh yeah. Bold and substantial is what I love about the Bronco, plus how buttoned up and refined it is as far as how it drives and handles. And now definitely too, I can't wait to hear from them of Neil, you were right, that uh, drives better than stock. That's one thing I want to um, extend to all you viewers that we do things that make the vehicle drive better most of the time. Certain scenarios, um, if we do so extravagant on our wheel and tire setup or suspension choices, it may hinder or stiffen up the ride, but this here drives better than stock. The uh, more confident, wider track, the safer, st more stable Bronco, which we have done here, is one I'm pr proud of as always. So again, thank y'all so much for watching. There goes a lot F450 that we're gonna hopefully review coming up next. So you guys stay tuned in lieu of hitting that subscribe button and liking this video because we are your source for everything auto right here in Winder, Georgia. Peace out.